Hi guys, it's Cheryl from My Well-Rounded Life. Thanks for joining me today for a Dollar Tree haul. I haven't done one in a while, I don't think. I went to one yesterday with Chrissy and then another one today with my mother. So um, I couldn't really find a whole lot, but I did find some things on my wish list. Everything except for that elusive pink mug that I don't need but want very much. All right, so let's get started, and it's just kind of random because it's here. Let me start with these bigger items because they're bigger. I picked up three of the mats. These are all 12 by 24. This one says home. I couldn't find two that matched. I wanted two that matched, but I couldn't find them. This one says uh, wipe your paws. Matched at least in color, but they were all different and all different sayings. And then this one says wolf. The wipe your paws and the wolf are going to go inside my patio door. Because we have some bare floor before you hit the rug. And right now I've got an old Christmas um, rug there in that spot for us to wipe our feet. And I think I'd like to... Um, get that up, wash it, and put it away. And then put these out there. They'll be the perfect um, size, I hope. So we'll see. All right. I got this. Every now and then I fall apart. It is um, a stand for your cell phone. And I can't open it. How do you open it? There's got to be an opening around here somewhere. I was going to open it. I'm going to open it. Anyway, I wasn't going to get it. I just showed it to Chrissy. She said, go ahead and get it. She said, I'll use it in my room, on my bedside. So I said, okay. And it is clear. And you get two pieces of plastic with it. And you slide the one piece inside into the other. And stand it up. And then your phone gets put in there. So... I'm going to put this by her bedside, so when she gets home from work, she'll have it there. Chrissy picked this pattern, I mean this uh, tablet. Uh, the color is so bright it hurts my eyes. It's very orange, but it's also very Chrissy. If you knew Chrissy, you would say, hey, that's you. Yep. So I'll put those aside. My scissors away. I found this honeysuckle scented body splash from April Showers. I sprayed it on in the store on my arm and rubbed it all in and then walked around to wait and see if it still smelled okay uh, once it dried because you know these cheap things, as soon as it dries the scent goes away. But this actually lingered for a little while. So I thought that would be nice and it really smells like honeysuckle, very much so. They didn't have any of the honeysuckle bolero that I wanted except for the soaps. But I don't like the um, the bar soaps very much, so I didn't get that. I picked up some kosher pickle slices. Nice thin slices of pickles. I thought they provide a nice little crunch to my sandwiches and wraps that I'm eating left and right on Weight Watchers. And I picked up some uh, LaCroix. And this one is the sparkling lime flavor. This is great to switch to any sparkling water if you're trying to get off soda, which I'm not. I don't drink soda. You know, once in a while I'll have some, um, a diet soda if I'm out or something and I'm in the mood for it because I do like fountain soda, but not from a can or a bottle. It's just not worth it to me. All right, let's see what else I got. I got this because it's cute. It's a fly swatter. It's a frog swatter. Um, if you watched my very first story time about the bees, you know that I, I sort of collect these. Now I have three of them in this room alone now. One in the living room area, one in this dining room area, and this one, and then one in my bedroom. So I don't know where I'll put this one, but I'm so glad I have it. I feel better with them. Let's see, health and beauty, oh, 
I got two of these. I gave one to my mother already. They're delicious. They are not too strong. They are very tasty. Because, you know, some cinnamon things are, are way too strong. Um, but these are good, and they're sugar-free. And uh, they come in a nice tin. Some people like to collect these. But I bought two, like I said. Gave one to my mom. And I'm almost out of the last one that I bought. So I wanted another one. I got a magnet that says, Always Have Hope. It's kind of a, a beige background with the, with the gold circle. I'm going to see how well this fits on my, not fits, but sticks to my refrigerator because some of these super heavy magnets, this is really heavy, um, kind of slide on the refrigerator. Uh, every once in a while, I'm, I'm putting the magnets back up where I had them because they're falling down. And I, it's just because of the weight of it. There's no reason for them to have such a heavy tile. It could be only, you know, half as half as thick, and be just as just as nice. So I like that. I'm trying not to collect a lot of magnets, but every once in a while, when I see something that speaks to me, this is a nice reminder. Always have hope. The Bible says we must always have hope too. All right. I got this cute little bracelet. It's just black and shiny and I wear a lot of dark colors and I have a lot of black and so I just thought I would add this to my collection of uh, beaded bracelets. I used to make bracelets. Um, ooh, this is really rubbery but not not this kind. I've never made anything with elastic but uh, this was I thought this was pretty so like I said add that to my collection and I got some pens. This might be the first time I ever bought pens at the Dollar Tree. These are the Ink brand, the LV Premium, and I think they're triangular in shape. At least that's what it looks like. And they're blue. I don't like black. I, I want some color. So I got blue. Low viscosity ink pens. I don't know what that means. Low viscosity. But I'm just going to play with one really quick and just see. Feels pretty cheap. The clicky part. I do like a good clicky pen though. It has that little plastic piece on the tip you got to take off. But uh, it works. You know what? It, it works exactly like a pen. So it's going to work for me. Yay, now I've got two blue pens. I picked these up and I'm scared. Cleansing no strips, the charcoal ones. There's only three of them in there. Now I've had some, I've heard some people say that these don't work as good as the regular, like Bior ones do. Probably not because these are just Dollar Tree um, things. Is this from? No, this is a regular Global Beauty Care brand. It's it's like a sample size with only three of them for a dollar. So. We'll see how that goes. That's kind of scary. And I picked up some e.l.f. liquid eyeliner because I want to experiment with something on my upper eyelid. And uh, it's in midnight black. So we're going to try that. That's scary. And I got this. Now it says that it's a grill tray. But I'm not going to use it as a grill tray. I'm going to use it as a pizza tray because of the holes. You know, the air will get underneath it and it will make for a, a crisper bottom. I've been looking all over every time I go to a store for the round pizza. Um, will you stop growling, Gracie Lou? Stop it. Be nice. I have the patio door open. The blinds are closed, but the door is open. So she hears every little thing, and it upsets her to no end. Anyway, I make my own crust with the two-ingredient dough um, on Weight Watchers, and I can make my crust whatever size and shape I want it to be, so it doesn't matter that this isn't round. And I'll just put this in the oven, and uh, it'll be great. This is a green briar. Hopefully, it'll last a while. You know, they had a slew of them. So, we'll see. And the last uh, three things I got are all um, anchors. I picked up this cute little bag. It has a little wristlet and a zipper. And I like these things for when I go cruising. I can find something to put in this. Let me see. 
Yes. Yep, my cell phone will fit in it. My cell phone and my room card, and I'm I'm done. I could be hands-free if I want to use this for that. And I found the scarf. As soon as I saw someone haul this, I said, I have to have this scarf. I have to have it in my life. I'm going to just wash them. I wash them by hand when I first get them. And then I hang them dry. And then I put them away. I have this owl-shaped like hanger with a hook with all of my scarves in there that I never wear. And I said, as soon as I see these, if I ever see them, I'm going to get two. So I got two. I don't know why. Something told me to get two. Somebody, um, what's her name on Do It On A Dime? Is it Catherine? Maybe? She's the first person I ever watched that made me want to go to the Dollar Tree. So Do It On A Dime. If you haven't ever seen her, go check out her channel. She takes two identical uh, scars from the Dollar Tree and sews them together to make infinity scars. So she loves her scarves from the Dollar Tree. And the last item is this cute little tote bag, again with an anchor. I just, I don't really care for the anchor being red, but I just, I like the striped bag and same thing on the other side. And it's small, but it's perfect for what I need it for, like Wednesday evening church, throw the book in that we're studying and my little, I have this little zippered ipsy bag of like pens and highlighters and stuff and, um, Stuff like that, you know, just things that I have to tote back and forth to church or wherever. Um, I could put this in it. Ooh, this part is grippy. Nice. It's triangular, though, so that kind of bothers me. It'll be all right. So anyway, that's my Dollar Tree haul. I don't think I have any other kind of update. That thing is still on my arm. This is the first time today that I remembered and felt for it, which means I didn't even think about it when I took a shower this morning. They said it stays on there really good till they take it off. Oof. All right, so anyway, um, I'm trying to think of some updates. I made pizza today for dinner. I was home alone and I had a couple of those Joseph wraps left. Not wraps, um, pitas. And I made two different um, pizzas out of them. One had um, seven pieces of pepperoni on it, and the other one had, um, oh, what is that called? Um, Sun-dried tomatoes, along with some pineapple and cheese. I didn't put any onions on it, and it was really good, and it was 10 points for both pizzas, and I ate them both. I had half of each, and then a little while later, I had the other half of each, and they were really tasty, and I enjoyed them. And I still have six points left for the night, and it's already... 847 or 842 I can't see from here so I'm just gonna have a little yogurt parfait before I go to bed with some um, fat-free Greek yogurt a couple teaspoons of honey and some of the leftover pineapple chunks and it'll be either two or three points depending on how many teaspoons of uh, local honey that I put in it so delicious so delicious so anyway, uh, that's it for my haul, and I'll keep up with you again soon. And until I see you again, be blessed.